Hi everybody, hope you're well, hope you're keeping safe. Now, when we hitch up the caravan and head off to our next adventure, one very crucial and important task for us to achieve is a comprehensive light check to make sure that all the lights on the caravan are working. And I'm sure you've seen it, maybe even you do it, and we're guilty of doing this as well, is that one person at the back of the caravan is shouting out yes, whilst another person is in the car pressing all the buttons on the controls. That seemed quite a good way of checking the lights until we purchased this car. And this car actually had quite a few funny electrical gremlins in it, meaning that when I put my foot on the brake, the reverse light came on on the caravan. When I put the car into reverse, the fog lights came on. And when I put the left hand indicator on, nothing worked. The right hand indicator, the hazards came on. So picture the scene. We're just about to head off. I'm pressing all the buttons and selecting all the gears. Angela's at the back of the caravan and shouting out, yeah. And as far as she's concerned, everything's working, so we're happy. So of course, on that occasion, the yes really didn't capture what was going on, that there was in fact a cable fault. It could have been down to a cable fault, which does happen. It could have been an electronics box being slightly screwed up. Then in fact, in our case, it was a combination of the two. So actually what we need to do is have a comprehensive way of performing a lights check between two people to make sure that what I'm doing at the front of the car is what Angela is seeing at the back of the caravan. So you can probably imagine having two people makes this infinitely easier. However, it's not impossible if you're doing it by yourself. If you are doing it with two people, have a clear line of communication. Either use your phone, a walkie-talkie, hand signals, however it is that you do it, have a clear line of communication that you both fully understand. Have one person sat in the car and the other person at the back of the caravan. Now, because we're going to be checking uh, all the lights, we're going to be going through the gears in the car, for instance. Make sure that nobody is standing directly behind the camera. Make sure you can see the other person as well clearly in your mirrors. Now, in the car, I should have the caravan hitched up, the electrics plugged in, the car should be switched on, in park if it's an automatic, in neutral if it's manual, the handbrake is on. Everything ready for us to literally just pull away so the car is in running condition. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selecting what each one of the lights. I'm going to be going the indicators, the brake, the reverse, the fog lights and the side lights. And then we're going to finish up with everything on to load the system up correctly. I'm not going to tell them what I'm going to be doing. But I want them to tell me what they are seeing. So without further ado, right. Over to you then, Danny boy. Oh, finally. Right. One moment. So what I need to be doing, as I'm sure he's already said, is I need to be saying what I'm seeing. Say what you see. There's no point in me shouting out, yeah because I don't know what they're doing in the car. And this will make sure that if there is a cable fault, if there's a problem with the electronics or whatever there is a problem with, that if I'm saying something that he's not doing, obviously there's a problem. It also validates that if I don't see anything happening here and I know that he's pressing something, we know then we have a blown bulb. So with that said, let's get on with it. So we're gonna start with the indicators. I'm gonna select the left, then I'm gonna go right, and then I'm gonna finish off with the hazards. Now, when we're checking the indicators, I'm making sure that they're flashing in the same rate. So when he does one side to the other, I'm making sure that they're flashing the same way. Also making sure they're not flashing fast. If that's the case, there's possibly a blown bulb somewhere else in the circuit, maybe even the car. So it's worthwhile checking the car at the same time. When the hazards are on, I'm making sure they're both at the same brightness and they're both flashing at the same rate, which they theoretically should be. So let me just check these lights right now. Okay, that's the left, that's the right, that's the hazards fine. Looking good. Right, now that that's done, I'm gonna leave the hazards going whilst I go through the rest of the signal lights. And the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the brake light. Yep, that's the brakes, okay. If you have a high level brake light, make sure that that's working as well. It's quite easy to miss. Right, now that's done, we're gonna do the reversing light. So I'm gonna put the car into reverse. First of all, before I do that, I'm just gonna make sure that there's nobody stood behind the caravan. Yeah, that's fine, the reversing lights are working fine, both sides. Right, car's now back in park, we're safe, handbrake's still on, etc. that's fantastic. The next one I'm gonna do is the fog light. And that's the fog lights. Right, so that's all the function lights done at the back of the caravan. The next important one is the side lights. Now it's difficult to show this today because it's so bright and it's so lovely out here, but if you are traveling in the dark or at dusk or the weather is not great, this is a super important lights check to perform. Make sure that every side light is working. So this is what I tend to do. I start off with the number plate. I cup my hand under the number plate light to make sure it's illuminated in bright daylight. I make sure that the side lights are working here at the rear of the caravan. 
and then I make sure the running lights down the side of the caravan are illuminated, finishing with the marker light at the top at the front and the marker lights down at the bottom at the front as well. Also do a quick walk around the car as well to make sure that the side lights are working at the rear of the vehicle and at the front of the car as well. Then I continue around and do exactly the same on the other side, starting at the front with the low light at the front and the markers at the top, running lights down the side and then finishing up here with the side lights at the rear of the caravan. And the last check is that we're going to switch everything on. I'm going to put the car into reverse, we're going to have the hazards on, the side lights are on, the foot brake is on and the fog lights on. Everything is activated. This will weed out if there's any potential earth problems or any connection issues and also loads up every single light bulb. So if you do have a fuse which is perhaps on the end of its life, it'll go now um, because we're going to load up the full system with everything going at the same time. Yeah, everything's illuminated. And I'll tell you what, it looks like a crap disco back here. That is the lights now completely checked. Everything is working, everything is as it should be. And as you can see, with two people, it's really quite straightforward. But what if you're by yourself? What if you are a solo caravaner? How can you do a comprehensive light check? Well, I'll let him explain that. So if you are performing a lights check and you are on your own, in essence, you're going to be going backwards and forwards, checking the lights by yourself. Do one at a time. Try not to load them all up at the same time. I know it'd be easier and a lot less troublesome to put them all on together and check them all in once, but do each light individually. That way you can be sure that there are no problems. The most problematic lights, however, that you're going to need to check is the reversing light and the brake light. The brake light though can be overcome by putting something heavy on the brake pedal or wedging the corner steady winder between the brake pedal and the driving seat. That way it'll be enough to depress the pedal and you can check to see the brake light is working. The most problematic one however is the reversing light. Our car now and our previous car being automatics don't like being in reverse with the engine off and with the engine off the reverse light wouldn't illuminate anyway so you'll need the engine running in order to recheck the reverse light but leaving a car in gear unattended is really quite dangerous so be inventive on how you can do this if there is anybody else around just ask them to just help you do a lights check but if there is absolutely nobody else around i've seen other people using some technology some people I've seen using a phone at the back of the caravan and they FaceTime it to double check that it's working. Other people have used a camera. Things like a GoPro are absolutely fantastic because you have the app that you can use to just check to make sure it's all working. But if none of that works for you, the simplest way is just to ask somebody else to give you a hand. And that can be problematic, especially if you're in a storage yard like I am today and there's absolutely nobody else about. Do remember though that making sure the caravan is fit for purpose and roadworthy is your responsibility when you are on the road. A broken light bulb or an inaccurate signal is inconvenient at best for you, but it's downright dangerous for other road users, certainly for anybody following you. So make sure that you do complete a comprehensive light check before you head off next time. Right, and there we go. I hope this video has been useful for you. Any comments or questions, put them down below. I'll try my best to answer them for you. But if you wouldn't mind, please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon. And if you can do all of that, then I'll see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.